In today's video, I'll show you a simple trick to get text alerts for any one of your favorite scans inside of Thinkorswim. The goal here is to be able to automate these alerts to essentially do a lot of the heavy lifting for you. Say every Sunday you like to run a particular scan as part of your Sunday homework. You run that scan, you go through the tickers to find the ones that you want to trade for the upcoming week. You can automate much of that process using the method I'll show you in today's video with these text alerts. Instead of going and running the scan every Sunday, you could get a text alert at say noon every Sunday with all of the stocks that have triggered off of your weekly scan, for example. Or maybe it's a daily scan and you want to run this every single day. You can pick and choose that, but as long as you understand how to go about creating these text alerts, really the possibilities that you want to use this for are endless. Now, let me first give you a teaser before we walk through the process of building these scans. I really like these text alerts, especially on larger timeframes, because it's almost like you hired someone to do a particular set of tasks for you. In this case, that task involved searching for your favorite setup. So here I have the slingshot squeeze, and that's most definitely one of my favorite setups that I like to trade. After that, it applies some basic filters, things like price, volume, etc. That's how we get to stocks that we care to trade. In this case, we're looking at ServiceNow, so fairly liquid. Beyond that, it then sends you a text alert with all of the setups that meet your particular scan criteria. So in this case, searching for the bullish slingshot squeeze, you can see we have ServiceNow on that list of stocks. So it sends you this. You'll also notice that the times here are all the same times. This is a daily time frame scan that it's running. And 30 minutes before the market closes, this is Pacific time, so 12.30 p.m. Pacific, it sends you a scan with all of the stocks that are currently meeting that particular scan criteria. So that's really the beauty of this entire process. Once you learn how to do it, you can apply this to essentially automate the process of finding the best setups for you. Now let's move on to understanding how text messaging works inside of Thinkorswim. It's not as simple as just right click and send text. There's a few different steps you need to follow. The first step is starting with your setup. This is usually a combination of a few different indicators. Maybe it's as simple as one, maybe it's price action. Whatever it is, you need to start with defining your setup and have a particular buy trigger and a particular sell trigger. What I mean by that is there's one particular set of conditions that need to be met in order for a buy to actually be triggered or active. And the same goes for the opposite side, a sell. Now, once you have that, step number two is translating the setup into a scan. Now, because you have the buy and the sell trigger easily defined, you can then easily separate the bullish and bearish scans into two separate scans. This keeps things a little bit cleaner and you know what the list of stocks inside of this particular scan are. For example, that bullish slingshot squeeze. Now, you'll also most likely need to do some morphing here from your indicator code for it to work as a scan. The scan tab has more limitations, so you'll typically need to adjust your code down to work with all of the different errors that the scan tab will give you. Now, once you've done steps one and two, I think you've done much of the hard parts already. After that, you need to connect the scan to the watch list pane. This is the panel on the left-hand side in Thinkorswim, and instead of creating a new watch list, you're loading in your scan as an additional watch list. And once you do that, you unlock this feature called alert when scan results change. That has a few different settings you can configure, things like the text, the time, the conditions, all of that good stuff, which we'll go through as we get to examples. Now, before we go to examples, there's two quick things I want to point out. The first is around the reliability of these alerts. The smaller the time frame you go, the greater the chance that that alert will be delayed and sometimes not even be sent. The reason for that I've found is sometimes the quotes miss whatever conditions you're searching for in the smaller time frames. So if you use something like a daily or a weekly time frame scan, that should have a pretty decent likelihood of the alert sending at the time you configure, say at 1230 like you saw in the example. On the flip side, if you're using something like a one minute, a three minute, a five minute things on the smaller side, then there's a pretty high chance that that quote will be delayed, especially on a one minute. It's almost guaranteed that most of the alerts will be delayed for you. Now, the second thing to point out, which I already alluded to a little bit is the scan limitations. The scan tab has greater limitations than the indicator tab. So keep that in mind. If you start to see errors around, say, your code being a little too complicated or using expressions that are too complicated for the scan tab, 
That means you need to approach this a different way and start to customize your particular indicator or scan for just the elements you care about. All right, with that out of the way, let's jump into Thinkorswim and we'll use a few of our own scans as examples here to show you how to go about this entire process of creating text alerts. All right, to get started, we need to select the scan that you'd like to use. If you already have a scan, load that into your scan tab. If you don't already have a scan, you can find a bunch for free on our website. That's tosindicators.com slash scans. And there, scroll down and take your pick. For this example, I'll be using our latest tutorial, which is the stacked moving average scan. And this is a free scan that you can download to follow along. You can also find some other ones here, anchored VWAP scans, the simple breakout tool scans, unusual volume scans. There's a bunch you can pick and choose from. For all Volatility Box members, all of the ones that say Pro are included for free with your membership, along with all of the scans inside of our squeeze course. That's tosindicators.com slash squeeze hyphen course. And there you'll find the slingshot squeeze and the squeeze signal scans, along with back testers, a dashboard script, indicators, all that good stuff. So pick whichever one you'd like. Now we're going to use the stacked moving average scan for this example. So I'll click on this particular tutorial, and then I'll click this big green button to download the actual scans. Save this onto your computer. This is a simple text file, which contains two shared links. Now I'll use the bullish scan for our example. So I'll copy the shared link and inside of Thinkorswim in the top left, select setup and there select open shared item. I don't think you can see the setup hiding in here, but it's to the right of chat rooms. Now, once you click open shared item, you paste in that URL that we just copied right here, the tos.mx link. Then you'll click preview, which will load in this scan and I can click import. So this scan is imported into my Thinkorswim platform. Now with the scan in here, we can start to add in some of our other basic filters that we were looking to add. As of right now, all we have is a stacked moving average script and it's scanning in all stocks. Let's start by changing the watch list to all optional. This will help reduce the size of our watch list down to something a little bit more manageable. Now the next filter that we can add is around the stock price. So I'll click add filter there, select stock, and we can give this a filter of say $10 minimum for the ask price. We can also add in a volume filter. So I'll click add filter there. We'll select study and inside of this study, we'll select volume average volume, the 50 day simple moving average is greater than a million. So with these two filters, plus our moving average script, which we just copy pasted in using the shared link, that gives us our scan that we'd like to use as a baseline. Now, if I click scan, this should hopefully give us a relatively small list of stocks that meet our criteria. And here we have 20 stocks that meet the list. That's good enough for me. So I'll click save scan query. And here we can say bullish stacked moving average scan is the name of this TOS indicators. I'll save. And now I can close the scan and we can load that scan as a watch list inside of our platform. To do that, open up this left hand panel. If you don't already have a watch list loaded on, click the plus icon right down here. And in that drop down, select watch list. Now, once you get watch list, you can load in the scan that we just saved as a custom watch list. Click this drop down menu, go to wherever you saved it. So we called ours, I think it was stacked, bullish stacked MA scan TOS indicators. Now I load that in and we have all 20 of the stocks that we just saw in our scan already loaded on here. Now, once we have this scan loaded as a watch list, if I click this again, You'll notice we now have a new option, which says alert when scan results change. If I show you that on a static watch list here, you won't find that same option. This is one where I manually add in the symbols. There is no alert when scan results change compared to when you load in a scan as a watch list. Now our last step is configuring these actual text alerts. So I'm going to select this option and that then gives me this menu right here. Now, I don't think I can make this bigger. So let's go through this step by step. The first is the event that you'd like to be notified on. So I'm going to select whenever a symbol is added. 
Now you can change the scan name if you'd like. I'm going to leave it as is here. The scan name shows up in the text alert. So that's the only place where you might want to change it if you have a particular queue you want to see. Now you can select what you'd like this scan to notify you with. You can either have it play a sound. You can also have it send an email. You can have it send a text message both during and after market hours. And you can have it send a push notification if you have the TOS app already downloaded. For text messages, make sure select the send text messages. Make sure both of these are selected and turned on. Now, after that, the last uh, tab that you have is options. If you scroll down here under options, you can select send me a message for every change. This can get a little bit overwhelming. The thing I like to do instead is select a list of changes and I'll say daily here. You can then configure the time you'd like this text to be sent at. I like 1230 PM. So this is 30 minutes before the market closes, which I found is enough time to go through whatever this text message has sent and see if there's anything that looks appealing. Now for the expires, I'm going to select not specified since I don't want this alert to expire ever. After that, I'll simply click create and that has now created this text message notification system that's connected to this scan. Whenever this scan loads in new symbols, it will keep a track at 12.30 p.m. Pacific since that's the time that we selected. It will then send you both a text notification along with the notification in the platform, email if you configured that as well, with all of the stocks that currently meet that particular criteria. Now you can of course make this narrow since you may not want to see 20 stocks in your symbol list and that's where pinpointing down to a specific trigger that you care about is useful. One more time for all volatility box members, the way I like to do that is by using our squeeze triggers, that's the slingshot squeeze and the squeeze signal triggers. And I found that this usually gives you a relatively small list of stocks that you can work from. And you essentially take that list, plug it into the actual back testers to get an idea of what's the win to loss rate. Do these tickers look interesting to you? Is that even a ticker you like to trade, etc. I hope you found this video useful in understanding how to create simple text alerts that are linked to scans and helps automate much of your research process for you. Take care everyone, good luck trading, and I'll see you in the next update.